So this is just a quick example to show how uh, how you can change the look and form of a uh, Kedu Smart Form. Uh, so what I've got here is a little form uh, that's opened up at the moment. I've, I've added a couple of tabs. I've added a couple of views onto this particular form. Uh, and what I've done is if you go to the it's properties of the form, uh, you can see this a little thing that says theme. And over here is where you can apply uh, a, your different look and theme to this particular form. And that'll be the default theme that it'll, that it'll use uh, when it loads up. So I've got quite a few uh, different themes that are sitting inside here. Uh, a number of these are out of the box. Uh, some of these are uh, custom themes. So you can create your own custom themes as well. Uh, Kate has also got a very nice uh, ability to, to build your own themes. And there's a nice tool on the K2 community site that enables, that enables you to point to any one of the K2 uh, out of the box themes and then go and duplicate them and, and be able to change the coloring using uh, uh, color mixes and create your own theme and then you can go and tweak that or you can even go and point it to uh, one of your SharePoint sites and it'll download all the different themes from there and then you can actually go and duplicate one of your SharePoint themes and make a K2 uh, smart form theme out of your SharePoint one and that's quite useful when you want to embed your K2 smart form inside of your other applications like SharePoint and have a consistent look and feel ac across the two all right What's also quite nice is that you can do dynamic themes as well. So you can, uh, as in, that you can apply the theme dynamically. So if I go back to this environment over here, and let's go and find the form that I'm busy working with. So this is my example of my uh, theme changing form. So let's have a look at that form. So as default, this form is loaded up using the lithium theme, and that's the one that I apply to it in design mode. And you can see the way it looks. But what I've added in this particular one is a little drop down with a couple of other themes that I, I'm allowing the user to change to. So as an example, uh, let's go and choose this little sun one. It's a very basic little theme. You can see just the, the yellow bits inside there. Let's go and have a look at the twilight uh, theme. So you'll see it's exactly the same form. I haven't had to change the form at all. Uh, we're just applying the different themes. Uh, let's go and have a look at another little interesting one, the Jove one. This is a custom theme uh, with a nice bit of a background and you can see the styling the text boxes have. Uh, it's quite a nice little one that's taking place over here. Uh, the other one that I also find, oh, well, let, let's have a look at this one. This is an example of a, a SharePoint one. So that's uh, styled. You'll notice it moves across to the, uh, to the left so that when you put it inside of SharePoint, it sort of matches the look and feel and the way that it's going to uh, sit inside of a, uh, inside of a um, sort of an out-of-the-box SharePoint uh, styling. Another one that I'd like to show you is an example where you can see how uh, just the changes you can make that you can make. If you notice, I've got these tabs at the top here at the moment. I'm going to go now and apply uh, the uh, custom theme called the BBS theme, which is the Bulletin Board Services theme. This is just a bit of a fun one. It shows you a little bit of what, uh, what you can do with the themes as well. So you'll notice the good old days of the Bulletin Board Services. Uh, you can see how everything has, uh, has changed inside here. And what you'll also notice is that the tabs are actually moved to the left-hand side here as well. Uh, so quite a quite a uh, quite a big change in the way the theme looks. There's a bit of a header here as well. Uh, just simply the same form. I haven't had to modify it. I'm just applying the different themes to it each time. 